Favorite 11 time, Ryan Prasad. You ready to rock and roll? Let's do it. Your favorite roommate on any cricket tour? Uh, Pranay Suri. Pranay Suri. Pranay Suri. We had uh, in India, we had an awesome time together. Yeah, he's he's a ton of fun. Another former USA Under-19 representative. Played for USA Under-19 in 2011, so he was two years before your batch in Canada, yep. but he went to Ireland, another junior cricket representative for USA, Brene Suri, out of Northern California. Your favorite actor or actress to be around away from a movie set? So they're all going to be upset if I don't say their name. That's the thing. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't ask you which one do you hate the most and which one do you want to get away from. I want. I asked you which one do you like being around the most. Come on, Ryan. In this favorite 11 segment, I used to ask after your favorite roommate on Cricket Tour, I asked who was your least favorite roommate, the, the roommate who snores the most or who talks the most and doesn't let you sleep. And nobody ever wanted to answer that question. They used, used to cop out with, oh, I'm the roommate nobody wants to room with and I talk the most and I snore, so I'm, I'm the least likable roommate. Nobody ever wanted to answer the question, so I've junked that question because it's useless. All right. Um, all right. So favorite, I'm going to say David Chokichi offset. David, he's, I can't tell you. I've, I've gotten lunch with him quite a few times. Awesome guy. Which celebrity internet profile do you enjoy bragging more to your family and friends about? Your bio page on ESPN Crick Info or your bio page on IMDb? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say ESPN. I love having an ESPN. I'm trying to glitter that more with some stats this year. The Crick Info one is a lot more rare than the IMDb one. There's only a select few individuals around the world who can get a page on Crick Info. <laughs> exactly. Anybody can make an IMDb. The nicest or the best cricket ground experience you've had as a player or as a fan? I might say Motera Stadium in India. Tara, I, I made some runs there, so it, it was it was a great wicket to play on. And I was I was young; it was the first time I had chai tea. It was in India, so I was like, "This is an amazing experience." Your favorite place to eat out on tour? I have on those. I try to eat as clean as possible, but if I'm going to cheat, probably do Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A, baby. Chick Fil A. <laughs> <laughs> Eat more chicken. Number two, spicy deluxe. I'm a number four. I'm a chicken strips guy. Number four, the chicken strips. I get I get yeah. the four piece chicken strips, and I upsize. I get the large waffle fries. I got I can't do it with me. I need more waffle fries. Did, what kind of did, sauce? Now, uh, I'm a pain in the ass, so I don't have sauce. I just have everything plain. I, I like it at its most natural flavor, oh. Ryan. Did you see uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo after after winning the NBA title going I to Chick Fil A? The 50 piece, I was like, yes, Chick-fil-A, baby. I'm not alone. <laughs> now I feel like I can relate to Giannis. We can both relate to Giannis. He's just like us. He's a normal person, right? Normal guy going to Chick-fil-A after a game. That's it. Your favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni all day. Are you a Coke or a Pepsi guy? Coke. Can't First be the real thing, baby. Your favorite cricketer of all time? Probably Shiv Narayan Chandrapal, but it would be really tied with Sunil Gavaskar. But I might go with Shiv. You got to be true to your roots. Shiv is calling your name. Shiv is the man. Yeah, I got to go with Shiv. Now, have you ever met him? Because for people who don't know, he, he plays and lives locally in, in Florida. And he's come up to Philadelphia. He's played at the Philadelphia Cricket Festival. He makes his way around the U.S. And he's he's a lovely guy. Have you gotten a chance to meet him? I have, yeah. I played against him on a couple occasions. So one of my, uh, I, I actually, I should definitely say his name. Um, in the in the three people that I said, like my dad and two uncles, it's one more man, uh, Mushtaq Khan. He's a huge influence on my cricketing career. But uh, he, he used to be a, very involved in like the Guyana cricket board and stuff. He was like a, a very close friend of Shiv's too. He used to like bring him to matches, uh, you know, back when Shiv was like really just growing up playing it, used to like, you know, drive him there. And so actually when I went to see them in 2006 uh, in Barbados, one of the coolest things I saw Shiv getting interviewed and I, I walked up, we were at the gate. And as soon as he saw Mushtaq, he stopped the interview, went over, paid his respects to him and then went back to it. And I was like, wow, 
Like you, you, you really like this guy really holds you in high respect. And Mush Khan is easily one of the smartest men I've ever met in my life. And yeah, huge, huge uh, cricketing influence, I think for Shiv uh, as well. So that's one thing I think we, we have in common. Your favorite non-cricket athlete. I'm going to have to go with Kobe. Kobe Bryant. Your favorite movie of all time. Doesn't have to be one of the ones you've been in, affiliated with, Ryan. Your favorite movie <laughs> of all time. A, a movie that inspired you, maybe, to get involved in the film industry. Casablanca. Digging well, deep in, into the archives. That's right. Classic, classic Casablanca. Your favorite show to binge watch on Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, any streaming platform, Dujo or, or DVD box said, what is your go-to? If you're stuck in the quarantine bubble at the CPL, what are you using to pass the time for all those free hours that you've got on your hands? Something I can throw on at any point in time would probably be Criminal Minds. You'd always toss on an episode of that. 